Judging by the percentages we discussed before, mental illness is pretty common, something that every family experiences either directly or indirectly. Because of this, mental health literacy is something that we should strive for as a culture, given that almost half of us will experience some type of disorder in our life. In addition, over half of the people who experience at least one psychological disorder will also experience a second disorder. Having two or more mental disorders occurring at the same time is termed comorbidity. The new DSM-5 lists 21 major categories of disorders and over 350 distinct disorders. Now, as we mentioned at the beginning of the lesson, we want to remind you that not all psychologists agree with the categories in the DSM-5 or with the notion that there are 350 distinct disorders. And also, it's important to know that what's considered a disorder in the past sometimes changes over time. So the DSM isn't set in stone. For example, homosexuality was listed as a mental disorder in the DSM, which clearly we know no longer is the case. Nevertheless, given the historical use of the DSM, we'll discuss some of these categories in this lesson. Specifically, we'll discuss some of the 21 major categories of disorders, including neurodevelopmental disorders, depressive disorders, bipolar disorders, anxiety disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, dissociative disorders, somatic symptom disorders, personality disorders, and finally schizophrenia.